Okay, so these are by a brand called Earfun, and they're the Air Pro 4s. It's kind of hard for me to pronounce that, I don't know why. But they're pretty interesting, and they're packed of specs for a reasonable price. First of all, you get a killer battery life, which I was astonished by. You can get up to 11 hours of continuous playing, and to those 11 hours, you can also add 42 additional hours with the charging case, which also has fast charging, you can get up to two hours of continuous playing for only 10 minutes of charge. Not bad. They also have wireless charging and they have this really nice LED light in the front. It's not a big deal and it might actually not be that important for you in case you want to buy them, but I like it. They feel a lot more premium. Material wise, well, they feel quite premium. They don't smudge. They don't hold fingerprints or anything like that. So I actually like that a lot as well. But obviously battery life means nothing if they don't sound well, and of course, if they don't have additional specs. But these are the very first ones I've ever heard that have dual codecs. What, what do you mean? There are a lot of headphones that can also do AAC and SBC, yes. But I have never heard a pair of earbuds that can actually do LDAC and also Qualcomm Aptex Adaptive. That is crazy. You can use any of those two codecs if you have an Android phone. If you have an iPhone, well, it really doesn't make a difference because iPhones are still not compatible with any lossless audio codecs, unfortunately. I don't know why, but I would hold for the iPhone 16. It's becoming so mainstream that maybe the iPhone 16 will have something now for us this year. So my friends, Earfund also says they have Ultra ANC. What the hell does that even mean? Well, they say it's up to 50 decibels. I have no way of measuring the decibels, but I can tell you this is an insane ANC and it's probably the best I've ever tried. Even better than what I've tried from Bose recently, as well as Sony or even Sonos. In full over-ear headphones, yes, these are even better than the Sonos Ace I tried a couple of months ago. I have no idea how they're accomplishing this, but I like it a lot. What I actually like the most about the ANC is not only the strength of it, it's actually how seamless it is. You can control it straight from the application from Earphone and you can switch between ambient mode and ANC. It is so good that it's actually seamless when you press the button. It doesn't have that suction feeling towards it, which I actually like a lot. And I think a lot of people are also gonna appreciate it because that can be pretty uncomfortable, especially if you've never used ANC headphones. So these don't have that issue and they have the advantage that they are extremely strong if you want it. Dangerously strong. So I don't recommend if you're gonna be using them in public, having ANC all the way up, Luckily, you can actually control this in the application and just bring it down a little bit so maybe you're not annoyed by buses and trains, but still be aware. Inside the application, you also have different options. For example, you can map the buttons, you can update the firmware, which I actually recommend you do day one if you buy these bad boys, because now with the most recent firmware update, they are compatible with LE Audio and AuraCast. That is a whole video of its own. If you want me to explain what LE Audio is and also AuraCast, please drop a comment below. If you already know what those two are, crazy, right? That a pair of earbuds that actually cost what these cost can offer you that. How much is that? Well, I'll tell you a little bit further along. If you're also a gamer, well, guess what? They're also pretty good for competitive gaming. They actually have 50 milliseconds, which you can control straight from the application. And if you do anything competitive, like maybe Call of Duty, maybe PUBG, or even Fortnite, if you still have a device that plays that, well, these are astonishing for that. So you can also play with them, no issues whatsoever. In case you want to use them for exercise, well, they're also IPX5 rated. That means if you're in maybe a light rain like I am right now, you won't have any issues. Just don't submerge them because that will kill them. But otherwise, you're probably covered. Now, the most important thing, sound-wise, what are these bad boys like? And is there a difference between Android and also iPhone? Well, first of all, there is a difference. If you use them on Android, you will have access to that LDAC or Qualcomm Aptex codec, whichever one you want, which is freaking awesome. I do prefer LDAC, but to each their own. And the difference between the sound depends on what streaming service you use. I use Tidal all the time, and I can tell a difference. Sounds are a little bit more clearer. You can also tell a little bit more of a difference between separations, and everything is just a little bit more crispy when you listen to these bad boys on an Android phone. But it doesn't mean you can't use them on iPhone, and it doesn't mean they're bad either. The sound is excellent. You do have a balanced audio, which means you have clear vocals, you have very clean mids, and you have bass that only punches in when it's necessary. It doesn't affect any of the other frequencies, which is excellent, and which is also my preferred audio. 
If you're a base kit, you can make it a little bit better in the application, but it's not ideal. The base does get a little bit smudgy if you go a little bit above, but just in case you want to do that, you can inside the app. It does have an equalizer. Again, I prefer the balance, the clear and the crispy sound. But what do you guys prefer? There is another small difference between Android and iOS, and that is that you also get the Google Quick Connect, I think it's what it's called. And the only thing it does is that when you're gonna pair these bad boys and you have your Android phone closed, you'll get that AirPods-like animation, which is pretty cool, but it's not a big deal if you ask me. You don't get that on iOS, but honestly, it's not like I miss it either, but small detail in case you wanna know. Now, last but not least, voice quality when you have phone calls. Right now you're listening to the camera audio, but now this is what these bad boys sound like. What do you guys think? They have six microphones, which actually give you a crispy audio quality in my opinion. But will you guys rock these? I think you can use them for work, professional calls with no issues, and also casual calling. They are excellent again. I'm pretty surprised they're actually this good. By the way, if you're actually impressed by that audio, well, Earphone says it's also thank you to AI. I have no way of accepting those claims or denying them, but I guess it's true. If you ask me, they sound excellent and there are very few earbuds in the market that sound that good. So you're getting a lot of features. What do you get? Well, you get LE Audio. Again, if you want an explanation of exactly what LE Audio is, please drop a comment below. There are very few phones in the market that are compatible with LE Audio right now. You also get AuraCast, you get Qualcomm Aptics Adaptive, you get LDAC, you get Bluetooth 5.4, you get a killer noise cancellation, a pretty good application, which is basic, but does everything you would want in a pair of earbuds. You also get excellent audio quality, excellent phone quality, sweat and dust resistance, they're pretty comfortable, premium quality and materials, killer battery life. I think I'm even running out of breath from everything I have to say. You also get Game mode with 50 milliseconds, which is definitely not bad, even if you play competitive gaming. So that's why I said these earbuds have practically everything. I don't know. What else would you want in a pair of earbuds? How long will they last? Well, I have no way of telling. I will be using them as my daily drivers. I actually like them a lot. But I've used Earfun before and they've been pretty durable. I haven't had any issues with the battery or any type of durability tests that I've performed them. But I don't know, if I find any issues, obviously I will share that with you guys. And if you're thinking about buying these, well, today they haven't launched yet. They will be launching on August the 5th, so beware of that. I will put a link down below in the description where you can buy them once they're available and they will cost about $90. But I think Earphone is gonna have like a discount coupon in case you wanna grab them right away. These are not pre-sale because I already tried them and I can tell you I have had no issues with them whatsoever. So earphone quite a big surprise if you like the video well remember to subscribe and if these earbuds are not the best for you i don't know why because they have almost everything well then maybe check this video over here where i have another pair that's actually pretty good as well